Okay, so you got to the end of your action and you've got a Rambot flask with some reagents, possibly some starting materials, and hopefully a lot of product. So, what we're going to do is to try and help separate that out. First thing we do as part of the workup procedure is a liquid liquid separation using a separating funnel. So, you want to get yourself a clamp and stand separating funnel, and then you pour your reaction mixture into the separating funnel. Now it's going to be in some sort of organic solvent usually and we want to wash out all of those things that we don't want or as many as possible so we want to get rid of particularly any reagents or any reactants that we're using. So to do that the best thing to do is to wash them into water so we've got our material in its separate funnel and we're going to add water and as you can see hopefully that as you add water it drips in through and goes to the bottom and that's because with a liquid liquid separation the different layers if they're immiscible and they don't mix will separate according to density the majority of organic solvents will be less dense than water so it'll be on the top and then you've got water on the bottom the only difference comes when you get things like dichloromethane so dichloromethane and chloroform, the chlorinated solvents, are much more dense than water, and so in separation they'd be on the bottom. So we want that top layer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let's go there, put the top in, and then take this out. Make sure you hold your hand over the top of the stopper to keep it in place just in case of any build-up of pressure. Turn it over and then open the tap and you could hear that hopefully the release of pressure and then you're going to give it a shake really good shake and open the tap again and do that a few more times and really get those layers mixed be aware of who else is around you and make sure you don't point the tap at anybody just in case things fly out at the end. Particularly if you're using sodium bicarbonate and if you've been using acid and you're neutralizing that acid, that can cause quite a lot of gas buildup. Other important thing is make sure you take the stopper out. A number of people who leave the stopper in and then when they come to open the tap, they can't work out why anything's running out of the separating funnel. They think the separating funnel's broken. So now we then open and you see, hopefully, the layer moving down. I'm going to stop it just before it gets to the bottom. Give the separate funnel a little swirl to move anything else down. Sometimes you see that layer go up quite a lot as more water comes out. And then bring it down and cut it off there. And then we're going to run now the organic layer into another conical flask and sometimes some of our product will still be mixed in the water layer as well so what we'll do is we put the water layer back in take some fresh solvent so in this case we're using ether but it might be ether acetate or dichloromethane. And add that, roughly equal amount. Stop her in again. Release. And give it a really good mix. Those layers are really well mixed. Should we clamp and remove the stopper? And then you can see those layers, hopefully, starting to separate. I'm going to pop that bottom layer now into the conical flask. And the top layer is added to the original 
organic layer as well. So we've combined those layers, so we've got the combined organic layers. And there we go. And that is a liquid-liquid separation.